Greetings, everyone, and thanks for tuning in to another Great American Survival. I'm Marvin Ford, and in today's video, we're going to be sharing with you something a little different. Uh, picked up an Abu Garcia Vengeance combo at my local Walmart for $20. Um, now, I've seen these on Shop Carl for under $100, um, but the social media aspect, they've been blown up. Uh, where a lot of people are buying these things, getting them for like 10 bucks and buying 20, 30 of them and then selling them on Marketplace and things like that. But I wanted one just to see if it was going to be worth it because I've almost bought it at $100. So $20, it is a no-brainer. Plus, it comes pre-spooled with 14-pound line and it comes with two crankbaits. So if you've wanted to, thought about buying one of these, stick with us. I'll tell you all about it. This video is intended for all ages. All right, so tonight we're gonna to be talking about the rod and reel combo. We're gonna start off talking about the rod. The rod is a seven foot, medium heavy, fast action rod rated up to a one ounce lure. Now when I looked at all my other rod and reel combos, none of them are rated over three quarters of an ounce. That's impressive. And this rod is very stout. One thing I will say is the rod itself has, is very well done. It's a little different than a lot of the newer ones. A lot of the newer ones all have these wind grips and things like that on them. This one's got the EVA foam. Got a very nice EVA foam rod butt. Got the pistol grip with the exposed blade. Very nice. Got a Texas rigged hook keeper right there. Very That comes in very handy. I like that. If you're comparing a Abu Garcia and a Luz, I like the Abu Garcia because the Luz put them down here and I'm fishing out of a kayak. So my rods have to be stored in rod holders. That can't happen. If I've got my lure attached down here, I can't get it down in there unless it's just a simple Texas rig, you know, where it's just a uh, hook and a weight. Uh, the guides, the guides are very well done. Stainless steel, titanium oxide inserts, very nice. I like this rod. This rod, I like the whole setup. I like the color scheme. I like everything about it. Very well done. Bravo. All right, so next let's talk about this reel. Graphite, um, one piece of aluminum, uh, graphite body. Very well done. Graphite side plates, uh, machined aluminum spool, four plus one bearings. I know a lot of people will say five bearings is not much, but there are some, and I don't know about this. I have not taken this completely apart. Um, a lot of the four plus one bearings that you get from companies like Abu Garcia, and I've taken that, those apart in the past, are better machined, um, better bearings than a lot of the nine plus one. So it's not necessarily more as better, you know, more, more bearings is better. So this is a very nice reel. I like this reel. This reel is smooth. Uh, it has, like I said, a machined aluminum spool, uh, power disc drag system which runs 15 pounds of drag, uh, the Dura gear brass gear internally, and the Mag tra MagTrax brake system. Very easy to adjust, quick, easy, crank it, just turn it, you know, start minimum, maximum, like that. Very nicely done. Uh, over here, we've got a machined aluminum, uh, machined uh, knurled aluminum spool tensioner knob, uh, drag star, uh, stainless steel crank, bent crank arm, very nice. We got, um, these aren't EVA foam, but they're very dense. Um, I don't know if they're a polymer or what they are, but very nicely done. Feel good in your hand, even if you're wet. Uh, this reel, uh, like I said, is a six, four to one reel, which means you're getting about 28 inches per crank. Every time it's almost, you know, just under three feet. So you're like, boom, boom, two and a half feet, two and a half feet. Every time you pull it in, it's pulling in 28 inches. I mean, that's a lot, that's, that's awesome. Now, especially for a six, four to one, which means this is a great cranking reel. Uh, works great for crankbaits, things like that. I like it. Now, the next thing you're gonna ask is, how does it fish? Well, let's show you. All right, now this is the Vengeance Combo. Uh, six, what is it, six, four to one? Six, five to one. Um, and it's got mono on it at 14 pounds, which is right in there 
ballpark of what they recommend. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to, it's minimum and maximum when it comes to the brakes. So I'm going to put it somewhere in the middle, right there in the middle to start with. And then I'm going to loosen my spool tension. I'm going to crank it down. So that right there is a little too tight, but that's a good start. And let's throw it. start. Now this is a square build crankbait so honestly at the wind the way it is today I'm not sure what I'm going to do. This whole area is flooded with stumps and down timber uh, which makes it a great place to fish. Um, I've caught one of my biggest fish on this lake in this exact spot. But when the lake was up, as you see, our lake is extremely down. Um, they are building a footbridge out. Oh, catastrophic. Well, that was a catastrophic one. That was on, eight, on me, though, honestly. Let's see if I can pull it all out. See if it'll work. That means I've just got to tighten my spool tension down just a little. Holy cow. At least it's pulling. Honestly, it's got way more line on it than it needs. Um, so I wasn't really sure about any of that. So now this is a square bill. It's not going to dive deep, but it is diving down. And it's just real erratic. There we go. That was better. Just that down. Give it a little thumb job, and uh, it should stay where you want it. It shouldn't backlash. Got a lot of pressure. I can feel every little vibration on this rod, which is really nice. I'm gonna walk out here, see if I can get out of it any, any further. This is a great looking spot, very fishy, but lots of sticks, lots of stumps. Get a little bit further off of across off the bank, you got a better chance of not getting snagged up. Lots of that timber is gonna be right there on the bank. Oh, that's a big cast, man. I like this combo. And it's got a really smooth feel. You feel all those bites on that rod? Really nice. Very nice. I like this. I mean, Abu Garcia makes some of the best fishing combos on the market. I mean, just they just do. Uh oh. Oh no, I'm snagged. See if it'll float up. No. Man. Oh, it came loose. That's awesome. Man, I had to booger pull that. But that's where 14 pound line really does help, even though it's not my first choice. We're not mono. We're gonna go find ourselves another place to fit. Now, if you're outside in nature, that's not where a trap where a water bottle goes. Don't be a douche. I mean, wow. All right, guys, we just wanna say thank you. Thank you in advance for watching these videos. Uh, as you see, this combo is exceptional. Is it the base, best Abu Garcia bait caster that they make? No, no, far from it. Uh, but for the price range, for the $100 price range, this thing is awesome. Uh, if you're lucky enough to get the, one of the 10 to $20 ones at Walmart, that's even better. But if you're looking for a bait caster or if this could be your first bait caster, the Vengeance is a great choice. Uh, with the gear ratio, it allows you to throw a wide variety of baits, crankbaits, spinnerbaits, things like that, chatterbaits. And the rod being geared for a medium heavy to be able to handle a one ounce lure is 
a big deal. And I, for me, I think that's awesome. Yeah, especially with a fast action tip, you can throw some Carolina rigs, some Texas rigs, throw some big swim baits. All those things are gonna work really, really well on this combo. Uh, I think if you want, go over, check out Abu Garcia. They will, they have some awesome information about really picking the right one for you. But I think they're great. I think this one is definitely a great choice for a first. And I think if you're looking for one, you couldn't go wrong. So thanks again for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it the old thumbs up. If you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button. Join our community and be part of it and help us grow it even more. We are thankful. We thank each and every one of you for stopping by, for being part of our community, and we couldn't do it without you. Thanks again. Have a great week, and make sure you take time this week to get out there, enjoy yourself, enjoy nature, be prepared, stay safe. God bless, guys. It's crazy to see. Now you see this tree. This tree's been down for two years. And look at that. There are still pine cones on the branches. Isn't that crazy? Maybe you guys don't notice stuff like that or care about stuff. But I think it's pretty cool. I'm gonna get stuff all over the shirt.